The US Navy Office of Naval Research have totally proved that they know how to make UAPs. Hi and welcome back to another ongoing episode of the Navy Nimitz UAP debate. But today a fascinating new development. A press release. On the 14th of April 2022, the ONR Office of Naval Research released these pictures. It's a laser weapon, a high energy physics laser beam shooting down a red drone. This type of picture is old hat. The media just reported, Navy has laser to shoot down drone. They're totally missing what the Navy was actually saying. Let me explain. Laser weapons have existed for years and they're enormous, either requiring a battleship power plant or a 747 chemical laser to produce a beam powerful enough to do any damage. And the international media just reported another laser weapon. This is a different laser weapon. The big problem for high energy physics laser weapons is purely the size of the system and the power it's required. This man, Rear Admiral Lauren Selby of ONR, has solved it. Before I tell you what he has done and why it is game changing, let me explain how it relates to these the Nimitz UAPs. Now you all know that I think the Nimitz UAP media release was misinformation, misunderstood, misinterpreted, forward-looking infrared data, released to the public as a UFO from the planet Zog or something strange when it wasn't. It was, in my humble opinion, and I've been knocking on about this now for ages, two things. One, it was a way of misleading your enemy, misinformation, to hint that the US had some type of advanced technology that they weren't revealing right now, but were hinting that they had control of. And two, an abuse of you and the media who lapped up it's aliens, it's UFOs, when well, it's not! <laughs> Excuse my passion. In my opinion, the Nimitz UAPs all add up to a deliberate release of data. Why was it released to the public? Because the Navy knew that the media would lap it up as UFOs, flying saucers, as they've done for years, where the public via the media have been misled and lied to, because they're actually secret programs. And that's why today, this press release of this seemingly normal laser weapon reveals a hidden truth. This brand new Navy Stroke Lockheed Martin laser weapon works in a completely different way. It's incredibly low powered. Well, what does that mean? A whole bunch of stuff. First of all, it can be deployed on an aircraft. It no longer needs a gigantic power supply, and that's because the ONR have mastered a new type of physics. The system is called LLD. 
D. The physics is F E D, just acronyms. But what it boils down to, an amazing new low power way of producing laser induced plasma. There he goes again, plasma. But yes, what the lasers can do now is to focus their beam on a point. This technology no longer requires one enormous laser beam, which tends to diverge, not focusing its energy on the target. But by using laser induced plasma, you can make a focal point which you can now accurately track, incredibly accurately, to target and shoot down an incoming missile or to produce a visualization effect. So why am I so interested and want to share this with you in relation to Nimitz and UAPs? Because this test, this drone that was shot down by a laser that I'm telling you is laser induced plasma demonstrates my main point about the real reason behind the Nimitz UAPs. It was a disclosure of advanced possible technology and this is an example of what they can really do. So when the authorities, so when the security services, so when the media say they saw something, they don't know what it is, and they call it a UFO, immediately take that with a pinch of salt because it's more likely to be misinformation about a secret black military project than an alien invasion. Of course, there's still exceptions out there. Strange things that nobody can explain yet. But that's why we have Avi Loeb, because a genuine science project would only look at the facts. Keep your eyes on the skies. Tell me what you see, because the truth is out there. Mm -hmm.